Good evening, fourth graders, and welcome to another flipped lesson. I'm Miss Kessler, and today we are going to be learning how to multiply by a two-digit number. So that means there is a number in the tens place and in the ones place in our multiplier. So remember, again, we have some key things to remember when you're watching a flipped lesson. The first thing is I'll let you know where you should be taking your notes. The second thing is you should be taking notes. And the third thing is you can pause, rewind, and replay this video as many times as you would like. Let's get started. So just a refresher. What is multiplication? Multiplication is the building on of gr a group of number through repeated addition. Remember the multiplicand is that first number in a multiplication problem, and the multiplicand is the number that repeats itself. The multiplier, the second number in a multiplication problem, is the, is the amount of times that we multiply by the multiplicand. So we have, in this example, we have 1,942 is the multiplicand, and we have three is the multiplier. And in this example over here, we have 314 is the multiplicand, and seven is the multiplier. What is a process? When we're learning how to multiply a, by a two-digit number, we have to use a process. Well, a process are steps that we follow in a specific order. So if I have a certain, if I have certain steps that I have to follow, I can't go out of those, I can't go out of order. So I can't do number one first and then jump to number four. I have to go step number one, step number two, step number three, and step number four. And when we're learning how to multiply by a two digit number, we will be following certain steps. So it's very important that you follow the certain steps in that order because it's necessary. Well, why is it necessary? Why do we have to follow these steps in number order, right? So number one first, number two, then number three, then number four. Why do we have to do it? Well, we want everyone in the world to get the same answer. If everybody in the world is following these steps, these set of, uh, this set process, we will all get the same number every single time, as long as we do our math correctly. All right, before you write this down, I want you to take a minute and in your global section of your notebook, I want you to write an example of how we have to follow steps somewhere else in the world. So I said that today we're gonna to be following a certain order, a certain process to multiply by a two digit number. Where else in the world do we have to follow a certain process. So we have to do the first thing first, then the next, and so on. Take a minute and pause the video to write that down in the global section. Okay, now this is the process that you'll be following in order to solve a multiplication problem by a two-digit number. These steps I would like you to write inside your vocabulary section. These aren't vocabulary words, but these steps are so important that if you don't follow them, if we don't follow that certain process, you won't get that number, that correct answer at the end. So take a minute right now and jot these steps down. Step number one, multiply by the number in the ones place. Step number two, put a zero in the ones place to hold its place. And I'll talk to you about that when we get started with our example. Step number three, multiply by the number in the tens place. And step number four, add them up. So at this time you should have, pause the video to write down the steps for our multiplication by a two-digit number. If you haven't, rewind and do that now.
Now it's time for our example. And in our example, I wrote down the steps on the side. So I always want to remember these steps. So I always go back and I always check them. So when it comes time for you to do your practice problems on your own in the practice section of your notebook, make sure you go back and you follow the steps. And remember, it's so important to go in order. I have to do number one first because this is a process. And we know that a process are steps that we have to follow in a certain order. So all of my steps are on the side. I have my broken windshield wiper to remind me that when I'm multiplying, I always go in that curved direction. I don't go up and down. And I'm ready to get started with my multiplication problem. So when we were learning how to multiply a one-digit number by a one-digit number, we learned that we started in the ones place. And we're going to do the same thing when we're learning about multiplying by a two-digit number, right? Because that's the first step. Multiply by the ones place. So let's do that. So I know that 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm going to write my 6 down below and my 1 up top above the tens place because 16 really has 1 10 and 6 ones. Don't forget that when, we co when it comes time to multiplying in the tens place, we have to add the number that we put up top. So let's do that now. So we have 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 gives me 21. Now the number 21 really is 21 tens because I multiplied my 1 in the 4, the 4 in the 1's place by the 5 in the 10's place, which is really 50. So I have 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 gave me 21, which is really 2 hundreds and 1 ten. Now it's time for me to multiply the 4 times the 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 gives me 14. And since I don't have any more place values to multiply, I can write the 14 down below. <coughs> so I'm finished with my first step, right? I multiplied by the ones place. I looked at my multiplier and I multiplied by the ones place. Now it's time for step number two. And remember, if you don't follow the steps in order, you're not going to get the right answer. So let's go back and look to see what step number two is. It says put a zero in the ones place to hold its place. When you put a, one, a zero in the ones place to hold its place, you're going to put it down below. So we automatically, step number two, for every single multiplication problem by a two-digit number, you put the zero in the ones place. Always, always, always. So I did that. And I can even check this off in my head. I've done step one. I multiplied by the ones place. I did step number two. I put that zero down below in the ones place to hold its place value. Well, why do we do that? We do that because when we're multiplying by the tens place, we're really multiplying six groups of ten. And we just put this here because we're not multiplying by the ones place anymore. So the zero kind of holds its place, and, and then we're done, right? So I have my step two checked off. Now I go to step three. And step three says, multiply by the tens place. Well, I still have these numbers up top. I don't need them anymore, because that was when I multiplied by the ones place. So I'm just going to cross them out. I'm not going to erase them, because if I make a mistake on my problem, I want to go back and see where I made the mistake. <coughs> so I just cross it out, so I can go back and look to see where my mistake might have been. So now I'm ready to multiply by the tens place. So I start and I go in that broken windshield wiper form. So I now start with 6 times 4. Well, I know that 6 times 4 is 24. So I put my 4 down below. And since I'm going in that arch, right, 
I did six times four, I already did that. So now my two for 24 goes in the tens place. Then I multiply six times five. Six times five is 30. And now I have this to add. I don't look at this number anymore because that was when I multiplied by the ones place. So I cross that out. Now I'm looking at two. So six times five was 30 plus two gave me 32. And I write that down below. And I bring that up. I already have this cross out so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And now I get to multiply the six in the tens place by three. So six times three is 18 plus three, right? We wanna add that three that we wrote above. Six times three is 18 plus three is 21. And since I don't have any more place values to multiply, I write 21 down below. <coughs> now, I've done step number one. I multiplied by the ones place. I did step number two. Remember, we put that zero to hold its place. And I did step number three. Step number four is add them up. Now I'm gonna add both of these numbers up and that will give me the product of a multiplication problem by a two digit number. So let's do that now. Remember your addition should be super quick. Six plus zero is six, one plus four is five, four plus two is six, one plus one is two, and two plus zero is two. So my product for a multiplication problem, for this multiplication problem, my, mul my product for 354 times 64 is 22,656, okay? Now remember, if this was confusing, just rewind and watch it again. Maybe it will make sense the second time. And you also have that space at the, at the very end of your notebook to write any questions that you have or any suggestions. Maybe this made complete sense to you. Come in tomorrow morning and we can have a discussion about what made sense to you and how you could help your friends. Now, try these on your own. These are your practice problems. Don't forget to go back and look at the process, look at those steps that you take in order to make sure that you have the same answer as everyone else. The biggest step to not forget about, to always remember, the biggest step to always remember is putting that zero as a placeholder in the ones place before you multiply by your tens, okay? So that's very important, always, always, always after you multiply by the ones, always go back and put that zero in as its placeholder. So here are three problems that I want you to write inside your practice part of your notebook. And then I want you to practice it on your own. Have fun and we'll go over the answers tomorrow morning. If you have any questions, Write it down in your section. This is the first time you've seen it. Don't worry if it's a little frustrating. Go back, watch me again. Good night.